If you are thinking of moving from BC or Ontario to Lethbridge, then let me tell you that this video is for you. Now I have made a video previously back in 2022. However, some of this advice is going to change pretty significantly due to the changing housing market. And this is what you need to know. The first thing that you need to know is that the housing market here is not like BC or Ontario at all. Since interest rates have started to climb across Canada, the BC and Ontario housing market has taken a significant hit. Your guys' housing prices are down upwards of 20% and it's been as slow as it's ever been since the 2000s. Out here, prices are still going strong and we have not seen a significant dip or a dip at all. Prices here are actually still increasing. Now this is important to know because just because your housing prices in BC or Ontario are coming down, it does not mean they're coming down here and you're not going to get a smoking deal, which I totally understand why you would think that because you're thinking that you know if you just sold your house for 20 percent less than you thought you think you can probably pick up a house here for 20 percent less than you thought and in fact out here you can expect to find about a 98 percent negotiating range so there is still some negotiation room but you're not going to be getting you know 20 percent off like you might think out there now back in 2022 when i first made this video it was very common that bc and ontario clients were very easy to move here because your housing markets were crazy hot and basically you just put your home in the market and within two days Days, you get competing offers, you get over ask, and your house is sold just like that. And today, that is just not the case. I've had numerous clients put their home in the market and it's have it sit for months, which is okay. And there's actually nothing we can do about that except for a word of advice. Now, more than ever is the most important time to take your time to do research and to find the best agent to sell your house. I'm actually going to make a whole video about that. So stay tuned. However, what I used to be able to tell clients is that you could come out to Lethbridge. We could do a tour of homes. We could find that you want that you want. We could put an offer in conditional on your home selling back home. And by the time you got back home, if your home was already listed, it probably would have been sold. Or at least you could go home right away, get your home on the market, and within two days, it would be sold and we could secure your home here. However, with this change, many sellers out here have become reluctant to accept the sale of buyer's home condition. Because what we have seen is that it could take months for your home to sell. And in reality, from a seller's perspective out here, they could just keep their home on the market and sell their home without that sale of buyer's home condition and really speed up the whole process. So the become very taboo to accept the sale of buyer's home condition and they're very difficult to get accepted. So what you do need to do is get your home in the market and as soon as you get an offer or your home is actually sold, then we can be really serious and dive into the housing market here and start putting in offers. Of course, there are some caveats to this. For example, if you're in the luxury price range or in the million dollar plus price range, there are some exceptions and of course, everyone's situation is different. So before you go and do anything, before you list your house in BC or Ontario, to sell, be sure to get in touch with me first so that we can start planning your move here. The more planning we can do ahead of time, the easier and the smoother your move will be. And if you're planning on moving to Lethbridge and you want to see what's on the market currently, down in the description below is a link to sign up for auto email listings. Basically how this works is as soon as you type in your criteria, you're going to get an email with every single listing that's currently on the market. And every time a new listing hits, you're going to get an auto email update so you never miss one. The benefit of signing up with these auto emails is that it's going to show you pending and active. Whereas if you sign up just on realtor.ca, you're going to see them all as active and you're not going to know which ones have an offer and which ones are actually available. Again, that link is down in the description below. Now let's get back to the video. Now moving on, what a lot of people moving from out of town get really concerned about is what area of town they should live in, which I totally understand because having spent a lot of time in Vancouver and a bit of time in Toronto, there are a lot of communities that are very different and offer very different amenities and services. However, in Lethbridge, it really isn't that important and it's really not that big of a deal because we have very low commute times. So what I tell clients most of the time is to find the home that you love and the commute is going to feel like nothing, especially if you're coming from those bigger cities where it could take you upwards of an hour to get to a movie theater or to a grocery store or to a school or anything like that. Now, yes, each community does have its own set of advantages and disadvantages. But for me and my wife, we could really live in any community in Lethbridge if we could find the right house. So again, my opinion is find the house that you love and the commute is going to feel like nothing. However, Lethbridge is broken up into three distinct sections, the North, the South and the West. Now the West is separated from the rest of the city by the Old Man River that runs through Lethbridge. And to get to either side, there are two bridges. There's Highway 3 and Whoop Up Drive. Now most of the jobs in Lethbridge are located on the North and South side. So if you live in the West, you're probably going to have to commute to work to the other side of town. Unless of course, you work on this side of town, most likely at the university or you work from home. Then there's the North and South side. 
And if you live in the north or south, you're probably never going to come over to the west side of Lethbridge, unless, of course, you work at the university. Now, be careful, because most Lethbians, once they move to one side of town, they're likely die hard for that side of the town, and they're likely never to leave. I don't know what it is about Lethbridge, but once you do move to that certain area, you're likely never going to leave, and I don't know why. They just become die hard to one side of town. Now, me and my wife have lived on the north side, and we have lived on the west side. And of course, they both do have their pros and cons, but at the end of the day, I think what we've decided or what we figured out is that we've always lived in Lethbridge, so it must be the city that's great and not the side of town. However, it is my goal to create neighborhood tours for every neighborhood in Lethbridge. So if you do want to see those, be sure to subscribe. The other thing that we need to go over and which I hate talking about is the property tax. Now, Lethbridge, unfortunately, has very expensive property tax. However, we also have some of the cheapest housing prices in all of Alberta and Canada. We're also not very dense and we do have services to cover, which is why our property taxes is slightly higher. Now, typically you can expect to pay about 1% of your home value as property tax. So let's say your home is worth $500,000. You're probably going to be paying somewhere around just under $5,000 per year. Now let's talk about square footage. So when you're looking at square footage of a house listed online here in Alberta, we only count square footage of above grade, meaning anything in the basement is not counted. So let's say you find a 1600 square foot bungalow. Well, anything below grade, like I mentioned, is not counted. So your total square footage is going to be more like 35 to 3600 square feet, which can be a total surprise and a shock for people moving from BC, where online all of your square footage is actually counted. The other thing we need to talk about is sales tax. So in Lethbridge, we only have a 5% GST tax here. There's no HST and no PST. So right there, you're going to be saving a significant amount of money day to day. Now, if you're purchasing a home, you do not pay GST on a resale property, but you do pay GST on a new build. However, in Lethbridge, most builders include that in the price. So for example, I do a lot of work with Strandville Living Master Builder who are absolutely fantastic. And if they have a house listed at 449, for example, that is the total price you're gonna pay, including GST. And finally, we do not have any land transfer tax here in Alberta, which is huge and gonna save you a significant amount of money right off the bat when it comes to purchasing a home. Next, we do have to talk about the weather because Lethbridge has some of the most mild weather in all of Alberta. The summers here are hot and dry and the winters are fairly mild. However, Lethbridge is the windy city. However, that is what contributes to our mild winters. So usually how the winter goes is that it gets cold for, you know, about a week. We get some snow that sticks around for one to two weeks and then a Chinook wind comes and gets windy for about two to three days and it brings in those plus temperatures which melts all the snow and then the cycle continues. And this year we've actually had a pretty unseasonably warm Warm winter where we've had plus digits all the way up till January before of course we got the inevitable minus 20 but thankfully it only lasted about a week or two and again a Chinook wind comes and warms everything up and melts all of our snow. Next we need to talk about day trips from Lethbridge and literally everything on this list is actually something that I've done and let me tell you that there is so much to do within about an hour's to two hours drive from Lethbridge. Things like writing on stone where you can see some of the most fantastic hoodoos that you'll see in your entire life. You can go to Watertons Lakes National Park, which is a little Swiss mountain nestled in the Rocky Mountains, or you can go to the Crow's Nest Pass to go skiing in the winter, or you can go fishing, hiking, or even boating in the summer. The Crow's Nest Pass area is an untouched mountain destination that is actually one of the last affordable mountain destinations left in Alberta. I do have some pretty amazing listings out there right now, and I'm going to be creating some more content and more tours about that area in the spring. As well, you can check out my five best day trips from Lethbridge video that I'll link right here. The last thing that I need to talk about is snakes. Now lots of people get really freaked out when it comes to Lethbridge and snakes because they read one article on Reddit about snakes and they think that they're everywhere and they're gonna get you. And let me tell you that if you're living in Lethbridge, you're likely never to see one. Now my wife has lived here for about eight years, actually I think closer to 10, and she has never seen one. I myself have lived here for about my entire life actually, and I've only seen two snakes. And on one of those occasions, it was actually going out with a guide to look for snakes. However, you should always have caution when going into the coolies, into Paradise Canyon, or
or the Paradise Canyon Golf Course, and especially Popson Park, which does have a big concentration of rattlesnakes. However, if you stay away from those areas, you're likely never to see one. And don't worry, if you stay away from them, they'll stay away from you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys do like this video and you want to see more content like this, there's a whole playlist right here. And if you guys want to see more and upcoming home tours and upcoming neighborhood tours, then be sure to hit that subscribe button right here. And if you guys have any other questions about moving to Lethbridge or there's some other videos that you want to see me create, be sure to leave a comment down below and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.